So the preparation I do when I get a new boat, I pull it apart, take all, take the take the chassis out, take all of the all the components out individually. The the main server, there's uh, you can pull them apart, and I go, I do that and I give them a, a liberal spray with um, inox. Uh, I do likewise with the rudder server. The switch you, you can't pull apart, but you can give it a good squirt. And I use this material here, and I find it to be as good as anything. It's a lanolin-based material. It's good on all, all most all, all electrics that we use in the boats. But I give I give all the all the, the switches and the boat the servers a good a good squirt with that. I then <coughs> fill round the joints with another material from from Inox called MX6. It's a grease, and it's good for putting in the bearings. It's good for putting on any of the joints on the boat. I fill all inside the the cavity of the uh, of the servers with uh, with this stuff before I, I reassemble them together with a liberal spray. The, um, the other material that I use is liquid tape. All the connections, the back of all your, um, all your plugs, uh, your batteries, your wire, any, any of the wires, I put this in the back of it. This is a personal preference. It's an aerosol grease. I spray it into a tin and then brush it on and I, I paint it all on the outside of all the servos and the switches. Um, I use it to paint it on the joints of the connection, all your connections. I, I paint this stuff onto it and I find None of our winches are waterproof. They haven't got seals on them, unfortunately. So around the top of the, uh, of the, of the, the sprocket that comes out of the rudder servo and the main winch, I squirt this uh, a liberal amount of grease around, around that. And it's quite messy, but when you put your, your winch pulley on and your rudder arm on, it squeezes out a bit. But I, I, I believe it creates a seal. And it... I like to do it from, to boats which are new. And uh, it's a preventative maintenance. It, uh, it's a reinforcement. It works. Older boats, it's, it's, it's not, uh, I, you can't guarantee it because the older boats have normally had a bit of residue in them, a bit of salt, a bit of lubricant and things like that floating around the bilge. Uh, it gets into the pores of the plastic, it's hard to get out, hard to get a good key when, you, when, you, when you're putting a fiberglass patch on, on the inside. But the fiberglass patch is allowed under the rules if it's, uh, it's, a, if it's a repair. What the rules don't say is when is the repair done. When it's done uh, if it's done as a reinforcement, uh, no one would know. So uh, it's, we refer to it as a repair, but it's really a reinforcement and it's, a, it's worthwhile. If you're buying a new boat, it's worth doing. It's, uh, it reinforces it and it gives you a bit of peace of mind that the boat's not going to crack up. Um, and I can assure you that most of the boats will at some stage crack. It's just inevitable, inevitable with, the, with, the, with the way in which they're constructed. Um,